Hello everyone, it's Angie the Craft NATO, and today I have an unbagging from the company Easy DIY. So let's just get right into it. Um, I have these out of the package already for ease of showing. So it might be a little bit easier. We won't have to do so much package unwrapping and um, they are still a little bit folded, but We'll deal with that as we go along. So this first one is a 30 by 40 full drill. Um, comes with a standard toolkit. Um, all diamond painting should come with this. A plate of wax, a boat, and a pen so that you have what you need to diamond paint. The only thing that you'll need is someplace to store your drills. And I mean, you could even just keep them in the little baggies if you wanted to. The Let's see if I can fold this backwards and get this guy to lay down a little bit more flatly to show you because he's so, so ultra cute. I know I've heard from a few of you out there that really like it when I show my rooster diamond paintings. So this is another rooster and this one is so cute. It is gonna go in my kitchen for sure because he's standing on a sugar dish. Isn't he cool? Or a sugar canister, I should say. He is so very cool and he has 24 colors, all letters for the symbols. And I love the colors in the rooster. They're so, so fun. And I love the colors of the background because it's so nice and neutral. It would go with any decor. And this background is completely confetti. So there's all different colors, probably gonna to be tones of the same colors, you know, same hues. Um, in the background, but we'll see that when we look at the drills. Let's test the sticky of the canvas. It is a nice sticky canvas, so we don't have to worry about any of our drills falling off on our arm while we're working on it or sliding around or anything like that, which is good because I know that that's something that is a diamond painter's worst nightmare. Um, one of a diamond painter's worst nightmares, I should say. So let's get into the drills and see what our 24 colors are. Um, start here at the beginning. Ooh, these drills look pretty good. They look really nice and shiny. Um, we've got a beautiful red, gonna be in that rooster. A Little bit of black for his chest. Some purple, some more red, some taupe, some gray beige, a lighter gray, pale yellow, mustard yellow, two bags of this brown, so this must be one of our border or our background colors, two bags of this kind of mustardy color, so that's going to be one of our background colors, and two bags of this brown, which is going to be another one of our background colors. That's going to look really nice and country, those three colors together. I think, um, mixed to make up the background. It's gonna look nice and, um, nice and uniform and, um, what am I trying to say, subdued. It's not gonna be anything too, it's gonna go with a lot of decor. Another orangish red, a very dark uh, hunter green, very pale pink, and a mint. Then we have a few more over here. We have white, of course, some yellow, some gray blue, some rose, very dark gray, teal, and another background color of an orangish yellow. So those are our background colors and I love them. That's gonna match my kitchen perfectly. That's gonna look really good in my kitchen. So that's definitely one that I'm gonna show off in my kitchen. Once I get it done, I'll change it out seasonally. I like to do that with my diamond paintings. Um, but just, you know, just for a little variety, put holiday ones out there for the holidays. But this would be a good all around, all around, uh, no specific time of the year diamond painting. So that's the first one that I got from Easy DIY. Now let's move on to the second one. And we should be coming to the end, and I'm sure you're thinking, thank goodness, because the holidays are almost here. 
but we should be coming the end of all of the holiday diamond paintings. But I do have a few more to show you. Because of course I do. I love the holidays. Let's just set that one over to the side and we'll grab the next one here. And this is the next one. It's another full drill, 30 by 40. And it is this Christmas tree that just says joy at the top has some presents under it and this cute rocking horse, teddy bear, sleigh, and some presents. Very, very cute, very simple. Look, you've got Santa in his sleigh in the background moonlight. The Christmas tree has some candles on it. Pretty, very old fashioned tree if it's got candles on it. Um, the background is primarily one color, but you do have another color sprinkled in there. It's B and W, so it's uh, 939 and 934. So 934 is, I believe, a green. So you've got navy blue and very dark green that are going to make up the background of this. That's going to make it interesting. I'm going to be interested to see how those two look together. The same thing with this background up here that says Joy. It's also a mixed drill kind of background, mixed drill color kind of background. So I love it when they do that. It, it just makes it more fun to diamond paint and adds some um, texture to the diamond painting. This one is, it's sticky enough. It's not the stickiest, but it's sticky enough. And it's got a nice thick cover on it. This cover seems thicker than most standard drill pack or drill kit and these colors come pre-bagged these drills so that's always nice when we have pre-drilled pre-bagged drills it makes it easy especially with these small ones you don't have to kit up this one has 23 colors and it does have all alphabet for the legend the drill field is very easy to read and this is just a nice general I mean I, I really like this diamond painting it's very um very cute very cute so we have red uh gr green gray whoops I'm not getting it in the camera there sage green sherbet orange Pale yellow, taupe, dark gray, kind of a, a orangey pink color, brick, quite a bit of this is, oh, um, this is 11934, so this is a really dark gray. I'm sorry, I thought it was going to be green it is green it's like a greenish gray so this is going to be your background color mixed with this 939 uh navy blue so these are going to be your two background colors that's going to look great together then we have brown mustard medium gray a dusty lavender, a sage green, an Elizabeth pink, a mauve, a very pale peach, orange sherbet, a creamy yellow, and white. And those are the 23 colors that make up this diamond painting. And I think that it's going to turn out really well. It's picture printed. I think most most of the, I've gotten a few pixel printed in the, in the recent history. But most diamond paintings that I get these days are the picture printed um, ones. And I really think that those just come out, they look better to begin with. But I think they also come out better in the end. So I really like when I get the picture printed ones. All right, and moving right along to our third diamond painting of this order. This one is, you're gonna be shocked. You guys are all gonna be shocked. 
at this one. It's gnomes, but it's a boy and a girl gnome. Come on, who's who can't love that? It's a boy and a girl gnome, and I believe that I already have this one. <laughs> so I loved it so much that I got it twice. This one is a 35 by 50, so it's a little bit bigger. And even though it has some elements of um, holiday stuff in it, you've got some snowflakes in the background, kind of a candy cane striped border around the um, where they're sitting, um, and the holly wreath and some greenery around where they're sitting. It's not really, it doesn't say Merry Christmas or anything. It just says welcome. And so you could definitely, definitely keep this one out all winter long. It would be, you know, perfect to have out for the entire winter. There are 24 colors. It has all letters for the legend. Um, the drill field is nice and clear. I like the size of it. It's very sticky, very sticky. And it is a very good, um, you've got a little bit of color blocking, but not much. It's uh, quite a bit of confetti and com a mix of colors in there. And I really think that that background, it's like a barn wood kind of background. And I think that that's gonna look fantastic. So let's take a look at the drills. This one's gonna have this drill pack seems a little bit thicker just probably because of the size because it's a 35 by 50 rather than a 30 by 40. And let's just see what they are. I'm kind of anxious to see what those background colors are going to be and what color reds they've chosen for the, um, the gnomes themselves. You don't get a girl gnome very often, so I'm really excited to see her. So we have white, of course, and then my favorites, well, one of my favorites, 3860 and 3861. I think those two look so good together. So that's going to be a big part of our background. We've got mauve, we've got red, and we've got plum. Then we have a deeper red, a couple of pink. cranberry, a couple more pinks, another deep red, a dusty purple, a light gray, sage green, cream, red, another sage green, a very light baby pink. This is probably, I'm not sure what color this is, 14, 844. So that's that very dark green again. Another dark green, another pink, another light gray. I'm sorry, dark gray, dark gray. Uh, dusty purple and a more of a foresty, not foresty, a more of a army green, but not quite so, it's a nice green. It's like between a sage and an army, I would say. So that is going to be really, really pretty when it's done. I like the reds that they've chosen. I like that there's a lot of pinks in there. I think the pinks are going to be cool. Um, and I really like the, um, the 3860 and 3861 that are going to be predominantly the background colors. I think are going to look really nice. So that is a definite win on that one. And that's one that I will probably do still this season just because we'll be able to keep it up all winter long. And the words are going to come out just fine just because they're so big and because of the way that they've been charted. There's a nice outline around each of the words. So not only are the words nice and thick, but also there's a good outline around each of the letters so that um, it's gonna really highlight the light drills that go in the middle of the letters. You can see that there. So that one's gonna be really nice. Okay, for my next last item, we have another rooster. I know you guys, I know, but this one, this guy was a little bit different than anything that I have and I just had to have him. 
he is adorable. This is such a bright, sunshiny, summer type image. I'm just going to, while I got the cover back, I'll check the stick. It's very sticky. Very nice and sticky. And he is just such a good looking guy, isn't he? And I think I've told you before, my rooster looks quite a bit like him. But isn't this just a great summer picture? You've got your sunflowers here with the plaid border, but then in the middle with the sun, bright sunshine and the cloudy sky that's kind of impeding into the border a little bit. I just think that this is an amazing diamond painting. I think that it's really, really cute. This one is a 40 by 40, so it's again a little bit bigger. Um, it has 23 colors, all alphabet for the legend, which is what we love. The drill field is nice and clear. Like I told you, it's nice and sticky, so no worries there. And we should have some really pretty colors in this one. Really nice, bright, sunshiny colors. This would be a good one to do to remind you that summer is still, it's not too far away. We, you know. Summer's not too far away, and this would be a good one to do in the winter time when you're thinking, when you've got those winter blahs, you know what I mean? So we have kind of a gray or a smoky blue, a beautiful teal blue. That's a really pretty color. Then we have a cranberry, a deep cranberry, and white. Those are pretty. I'm sorry, that's not a cranberry, that's brown. As I pulled it away into the light, kind of brownish cranberry. It's like a brownish red. Sorry about that. As I pulled it away and saw it in the light, it looked a different color. Okay. Wow, these are nice, bright, cheerful colors. Woo-wee! So we've got a nice, bright red, beautiful, bright peach, this great, dusty orange, a lime green, a bright, bright orangish pink, light gray, sunshine yellow, and I'm sure that's for the sunshine, and it is definitely a sunshine yellow. You know, sometimes diamond paintings, you're surprised at the colors that they have. They're not what you would think they would be. This is one that so far, these are the exact colors that I thought that it would be. So we have a, three colors of blue, a, a regular blue, a light blue, and then like a periwinkle blue, a dark navy, a, another medium blue, two packs of red. That's probably our 666 red or 606 red, maybe. Wait, nope, it's not either. It's 900 red. So kind of an orange red. That's probably going to be the background plaid just because there's so much of it. Uh, another cranberry, a purple, a cream, a little bit lighter yellow, a sage, and a bright, bright bubblegum pink. So this is gonna be this is gonna be one that I'm definitely gonna pull out when I've got those winter blahs and I just need something a little bit on the bright side and I need some color in my life. This is gonna be definitely the one that I'm gonna reach for because it is definitely got some great colors in it and it's going to look fantastic when it's done. All right now for the last item that I have is an off canvas item and it's something that I have one or two of actually I've got a couple already but I don't have in this size so let me just set this off to the side and I'll grab it. It is one of these diamond painting, diamond painted, I'm sorry, boxes. So it's a little storage box. It, it's folded up like this, so you could fold it like this for storage when you're not using it. But it does have a bottom. It's a hard bottom that you stick into the bottom of it so that it'll keep its form. And then you diamond paint the front of it. Um, and it's just got this cool mandala pattern on it. And I've seen these and I have a couple of them and it's like a vinyl. Um, I have a couple of these, but they're big, they're quite big. And I thought that this was a cute size and I that I would like to have this one to put some other things in. Um, maybe I could put 
like drills of projects that I've got coming up because right now I just lay them on my dresser, my drill packs um, in my craft room and um, maybe I could just stick them in here. Um, you could put, you know, diamond painting, well, if you had a lot of diamond painting pens, which I know a lot of you do, but accessories, um, anything you could put in here. So I really thought that this was very cute. It has, it's got a really cute star pattern um, with on the inside. And this part on the outside here, this does not get drilled. Just this inner portion gets drilled. And it's a special drill kit, obviously. Well, probably, maybe not obviously, but it's special drills. So let's just take a quick look at the drills that come with it and see what colors we're gonna be working with. And I'm anxious to get this done because it's just so cute and I love the color combination. So we have, ooh, we have some, some strays there. So we have a beautiful royal blue. We have clear crystals. Oh, then we have that great ice blue that I love. Love that color in crystal. Oh, lots of orange, so that's great because that's my favorite color. Some uh, orangish red. Then we have quite a few special drills here. Let me just, oh my gosh, look at these. They're very, very teeny crystal heart shaped. Very teeny though. I've never seen them that teeny. There's quite a few of them too. Then we have some very teeny, are those teardrop or marquee? Those are marquee, but they're very, very small marquee. Then we have some teardrop shaped pearl iridescent coated. Some large orange crystals. Some very teeny marquee that are uh, turquoise. And some large blue crystals. That is a lot of different drill types for this little thing. I like the fact that they gave you so many different special drills for it. That's going to be really cute when it's done. So that's all that I have today from my order from Easy DIY. I will link all of these items in the description field of the video so that you can click on them and go straight to them. Um, Thank you to Easy DIY for sending these my way. And thank you guys to everyone for watching. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And I hope you have a great rest of your week. And I will talk to you very soon. All right. Have a good one, y'all. Thanks a lot. Bye, guys.